So why exactly would you like to start your IT outsourcing business, please? I just want to make a lot of money. Oh, it's just I've been fired three times from my previous job and I can't get another one. So it leaves me with just one option, I guess. Work for myself, right? Oh, I just want this freedom of mind where I'm my own boss and I don't have to report to anyone. What? Why would I like to start my own business? What business is it of yours? Jeez, you're so annoying. Just like my previous manager. I, truth be told, I can't get along with any managers. They're all idiots. Oh, truth be told, I'm simply unemployable. I'd rather boss people around myself and be an idiot myself. See what I mean? We'll call you back. So, you successfully work for someone else, your salary and experience grows, and recently you started to think about accelerating your career somehow, improve, make better. That's probably when you start to think about launching your IT business. And I want you to stop. Stop right now and give it another thought. Do you really need to start an IT? business. I worked with dozens of clients over the past year and I often meet with requests like I work for an outsourcing company and I think I can do all of this on my own and make more money. And my typical answer is yes, you can, but do you really need to start an IT business to make more money? What's your goal behind wanting to start a company? Because it's all about why, not how? I can tell you how, but if there is no why behind that, it's not gonna work. If your goal is earning more money right now, not potentially, but right now, better find a better paid job and start investing, diversifying your income, launching a second stream of income, and so on and so forth. That is why I always ask my clients what's their goal behind wanting to start a business. And the second aspect, very important one, is are you financially safe? to start a business right now. Because you should only start a business when you are financially safe. If you aren't, then don't leave your job to start your IT business because that might leave you disappointed and broke. Not necessarily, but it might. My typical advice in these situations is firstly, save up, and secondly, start earning on the side as an independent IT services provider and only when you start making enough to cover your expenses and as much as your current IT job brings you, then you're free to start your IT business independently. And another important question you must ask yourself is, are you ready for months and months of unpaid work? Because in a typical scenario, when you start working on your side IT business while working your day job, you will dedicate at least three to four hours during your business days and your entire weekends to working on your business. And it might take months and months of such exhausting schedule for you to see any results. Not necessarily breathtaking, but any results. And if you decide to start working on your IT business full-time, there will be even more work and not necessarily you will have to only control things, how things are unfolding, but sometimes you yourself as a founder will have to step in and actually work on the projects yourself to meet your deadlines, to save the project, to make the clients happy, whatever. Are you ready for that? And sometimes not even all of these efforts of investing your time, money, emotions, sacrifices are gonna pay back. Yes, if you're lucky and smart enough, you'll get your first contract soon enough and start working, but your problems won't end there. They will only multiply because you can survive on one project or one client only, so you will have to constantly look for new projects and new clients while at the same time trying to make this first client of yours happy. And so much can go wrong here. I don't even know where to start to prepare you for any possible misfortunes that might happen along the way. So my next question for you would be, how good are you at taking blows straight into your face? 
because oftentimes it feels exactly like this blow after blow after blow and you just try to make ends meet and try to eliminate the fire while at the same time trying to keep your sanity because it goes like this one day you're relaxed and everything goes well and then boom your main developer quits your company or your business or boom your another developer is being rude to the customer and the client wants to cancel your corporation or your third developer just under delivers and again the client wants to cancel your corporation or the tax system changes and you have to react fast or you forgot to file some documents or someone filed a complaint against you and sometimes all of this happens on the same day and sometimes all you can ask yourself is should i close my company and forget about this nightmare if you don't and despite being all bruised you proceed to fight your entrepreneurial journey congrats you have what it takes and if you want to learn more about how to build an it service company check out this playlist next and join our it entrepreneur school on patreon i'll see you there top gun stay strong